that? That's a Cadillac CT4. What's the CT4? Well, it sounds like you need help from the voiceover. If you're not aware, the Cadillac CT4 is a rear or all-wheel drive sedan that competes with small luxury entries like the BMW 2 Series Grand Coupe and the Audi A3 sedan. The CT4 is positioned below the roomier Cadillac CT5 because duh, and it comes in a range of variants. Keep your wish list simple and you can get a base CT4 luxury trim with a 2-liter turbocharged 4-cylinder engine, an 8-speed automatic transmission, and an asking price a touch above 33 dollars not including destination charges. Choose the loftier, nearly $38,000 premium luxury trim, and you have the option to upgrade to a 2.7-liter turbocharged engine married to a 10-speed automatic transmission. Hooray for more horsepower and cool, decent fuel economy. But as you know, we at Kelly Blue Book have to live that Blue Book life floored. Power! The version I'm wheeling around is the CT4 V Series. The V Series starts around 45 grand and employs a more powerful rendition of Cadillac's 2.7 liter turbo engine to the tune of 325 horsepower. Also, pay attention to that torque figure. It takes a short beat from a stop for the power to really kick in. But once you're moving, the 10-speed automatic transmission and 2.7-liter engine work together as a wonderful team, delivering prompt, stout power when your right foot demands it. Should probably use the brakes, too. As observed when I drove the CT5, the CT4's 10-speed automatic transmission offers graceful, fluid shifts. The 10-speed can also escalate its urgency when you drive with purpose. It's doubly so in sports and track modes. As long as I'm driving with needless speed, let me state that the CT4 has a stable yet eager spirit when cornering. Helping elevate the lateral thrills in the V series I'm driving are summer tires, an adaptive magnetic suspension, and a V button on the steering wheel that instantly sportifies all possible parameters. The V button is pressed. Let's see what fun can be uncovered. Weird pause there, but sure, generally fun. When driving more sedately, the CT4 commutes with a pleasing ride. You can also switch to tour mode for chill cruising, which sounds like a Jimmy Buffett album title. Explore the cabin and you'll find tasteful style, some nice materials, and some areas with less than dazzling plastics. In the front seat, there's enough room for me and my 5 foot 10 inch frame, but I wish the steering wheel telescope just a bit further so I could stretch my legs more. You guys, it's been a while. Let's reinstitute the Mike Amusio Elbow Comfort Index. With my hands on the steering wheel, both my elbows touch the armrest and the roughly even height, but the inboard has the stitching right here where my elbow touches, and that is awfully hard. That's going to rate a rigid, scratchy squirrel. Move back one row, and there's barely enough space for my head and knees to clear. Sorry, CT4 buyers, but it's time to jettison your tall friends. For lugging gear, there's a cozy 10.7 cubic foot trunk, but if you need more room, the rear seats fold, revealing a wide pass-through. For your phone, there are two standard USB ports, NFC capabilities for convenient phone pairing, and an optional wireless charging pad, which teams well with the standard wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto smartphone connectivity. Thoughtful segue completed, let's talk about the 8-inch Q infotainment system. I find the interface very easy to use, whether I'm using the screen itself or if I don't want fingerprints all over my screen, this little controller right down here. Although this controller only comes on the fanciest of CT4 trims. On that note, if you embrace automotive indulgence, you can outfit your CT4 with ventilated front seats, a heated steering wheel, all-wheel drive, plus lane keeping assist and full speed adaptive cruise control, both of which, incidentally, come standard on a Honda Civic. Additionally, for $3,100, you can add Cadillac Super Cruise, which is a hands-free driving feature available on more than 200,000 miles of freeway throughout the US. I will now demonstrate Super Cruise, is a thing I would say if our car were so equipped. I would be remiss if I didn't mention the CT4 Blackwing. Take a CT4 and cram a 3.6 liter twin turbo V6 in it. The resulting Blackwing can clock 189 miles per hour and sprint from still to 60 in 3.8 seconds, provided you choose the 10 speed automatic transmission, though a six speed manual is offered for the 3% of the population who care. Boy, that Blackwing looks like a fun time. 
As mentioned up front, when shopping in this class, you might also consider the Audi A3 sedan, BMW 2 Series Grand Coupe, or maybe the Mercedes-Benz CLA. But in terms of base price, the CT4 undercuts them all. And honestly, I've enjoyed driving it more than I expected. In the world of small luxury sedans, the Cadillac CT4 deserves consideration.